In this video we are going to cover how to update Acuvance ESCs and the Tau 2. Head to the Japanese Acuvance website, as the American site is very out of date with firmware files. You will need to download two applications that install the firmware files. The Acuvance 8051 software is for updating the Tachyon ARIA and Java CSCs. You will also need the OP-87052 ESC adapter kit. The Acuvance V3.8 software is to update the Tau 2 and Brain unit, however this version is in Japanese, but V3.5 on the American website is in English, I will provide a link in the description. Here listed are the firmware files that get loaded onto the ESCs. I like to organize each firmware package into a folder to keep things clean. It's also useful if we need to roll back a version to have things organized. There are separate firmware files depending on if you use a TAU1 or TAU2. Make sure to select the correct version for your equipment. The USB cable that comes packaged I'm pretty sure is just a charge cable, if you have connection issues to your PC, this could be the cause. The ESC adapter comes with a female to female cable, which is useless as an extension cable so throw that off to the side. Find another USB to mini USB cable. The problem almost everyone has is that the update adapter is not recognized on their PC and cannot pass the first stage of getting a green light connection. This is most likely due to the driver installation. If you try to install the driver manually, this will probably fail, as the drivers have not been signed. If this happens, reboot with driver signature enforcement disabled and try manually installing the drivers again. If you don't know how to do this, a quick Google will help guide you through the process. Once you have rebooted with driver signature enforcement disabled, reconnect the update adapter, open the Acuvance 8051 software and try reinstalling the driver again. If successful you should see the green light connection appear. Don't worry about the warning that appears, just click install this driver anyway. Okay, let's get started. I would recommend you unplug the adapter and plug it back in again just to make sure everything is working correctly a second time. The adapter's LED will turn green indicating it has a connection with your PC. We're going to update the Tachyon ARIA first. Make sure to check that your cable from the ESC is connected correctly by checking the wire colors line up with the markings on the adapter. Once we can see two green lights in the Acuvance software, we're ready to select the firmware file to load onto the ESC. In this example, my ESC is running 0b.10.f0.15 and I'm going to update it with 0b.10.f0.16. Don't freak out if the software hangs, just let it keep going and it should be okay. Once completed the software will state, updated successfully. At this stage you can unplug the update adapter and get ready to reset the neutral, throttle and brake endpoints. To reset the ESC endpoints, hold down the side button when turning on the ESC until the green LED starts to flash, this is to set the throttle neutral position. Press the button again and the blue LED will flash, now we set the full throttle position. And again, the red LED will flash for full brake position. 
This completes a firmware update for the Tachyon Aria. Next, let's repeat the process for the Jarvis. The process to update the Jarvis is identical to the ARIA, just make sure you select the correct firmware file. Lastly let's update the TAU2. This is pretty straightforward as the TAU2 connects directly to a PC via its internal USB port with one catch that also gets people stuck. The TAU2 needs to be turned off before connecting it to your PC. This completes the Acuvance update tutorial. Please leave a like if this was helpful and subscribe for more awesome RC videos and tutorials.